shooting video with the GoPro Max 360 brings a whole new dimension to capturing great footage from your airplane. With this camera, we are no longer confined to a single forward view as with the GoPro Hero Black. In this video, we're going to show you how to expand the possible view angles of your GoPro footage in post using Adobe Premiere Pro. We're going to start out by selecting a single video GoPro Max 360 video clip where we flew our Cessna over a beautiful lake in Northeast Texas. This clip has already been processed and is ready for use in Adobe Premiere Pro. Earlier we created a video that details the process of downloading a video clip from your camera along with the various steps required to prepare a 360 file for processing in Adobe Premiere Pro. There is a link to this instructional video in the comments area below. If you have watched the tutorial video and created your 360 video file, you are now ready to get started on your final video. Now open Adobe Premiere Pro. To start a new project, click on the New Project button. Give your project a name. Let's call this one My 360 Video. Click on Create. In the lower left box, right click and select Import. Get your processed 360 video clip from where you saved it on your computer. Now drag the video clip into the timeline area to the right. This automatically creates a new sequence for this video, which controls the timeline and final output of the finished video. You'll see the newly created sequence file in the lower left box. Click on the sequence file to highlight it. Then go to the upper menu and select Sequence, then Sequence Settings. In the video section, change the frame size to 1920 horizontal and 1080 vertical. This changes the final output to a 16x9 format. Click OK. Then you'll get a warning. Ignore it and click OK. Now let's shorten the video to make it a little easier to work with. Using the slide bar at the bottom of the timeline, stretch the video out. Using the razor blade control, cut the video to only show the first 30 seconds and then delete the rest. Now click on the video clip to activate it. This displays all the effects for the clip in the upper left hand corner control box. It's time now to apply the GoPro Reframe plugin to the video clip. There's a link to download the GoPro Reframe plugin in the comments area of this video. Click on the Effects tab in the lower left box. Click on the Video Effects arrow to show its contents. Click on the GoPro FX arrow to show the GoPro FX Reframe plugin. Drag and drop the plugin onto the video clip. Now the reframe controls are displayed in the upper left hand control box. Use the up key on the keyboard to go to the beginning of the video. Click on the GoPro FX reframe in the effects control area. This displays a control grid on the video to allow us to start working on movement in the video. Here's where we talk about keyframes. A keyframe is a marker in the video that controls what will be displayed in a particular spot in the video. Stretch out the video clip using the slide bar below the timeline. Under the GoPro FX Reframe tab, we're going to create some keyframes by selecting Pan, Tilt, Rotate, and Zoom parameters. The keyframes are displayed to the right of the reframe control parameters. Set the zoom parameter to 70%. This makes for a really sharp final video. 
Click again on the GoPro Reframe Master in the effects area. This will make the grid visible in the video window. Experiment by moving the video around with your mouse inside the inner square of the box. Notice the percentage numbers in the effects area change as you move the video view around. The inner square box controls side to side and up and down movement, otherwise known as pan and tilt. The far left and right boxes control rotation. The outside corner boxes are for zooming the video in and out. Let's leave those alone for now. All this activity sets the first set of keyframes at the beginning of the video clip. Now hit the play button and look for a second location to set more keyframes in the clip. Using the control grid, we'll move things around and straighten up the alignment. Notice that this has created a whole new set of keyframes in the effect area. To see what has been created so far, hit the up key on the keyboard to go back to the beginning. Now play the video. At this point, some video creators run into a unique problem. What if you want to have some shots of the areas that are below the standard forward view of the camera? Adjusting the tilt control works, but the clip view is distorted and curved on top. Not a great view. This is where the Y offset control adjustment in the GoPro FX Reframe plugin come into play. Further along in the video clip, create another set of keyframes, adjusting the pan control once more. Under the advanced controls, select and activate the Y offset control. This allows the video clip to rotate vertically, kind of like your eyeball, looking up or down. Adjust the position in the clip to get the pan, tilt, and rotate parameters to get the video set to your preference. Now adjust the Y offset control up or down to change the vertical view. This allows you to look up or down to see the views, very similar to how the human eye works. Hit the up key and play the video from the beginning. For smooth transitions between keyframes, activate all the keyframes, right click on one of them and select Continuous Beezer. Hit the up key again and play the video from the beginning. Now the transitions between keyframes are smoother. Now to export and create your video. To get your video ready for export, you'll need to mark where the video starts and where it ends. To do this, place the timeline marker where you want the video to start and press the I key. Place the timeline marker where you want the video to end and press the O key. Now you're ready to export your video. In the upper menu, click on File, Export, Media. Give your video file a name. Set the location where you want the video to be stored. There are several settings that you can try, but for this video, let's keep it simple. Use high quality 1080p HD for the preset and H.264 for the format. Under the video tab, set full HD 1920 by 1080 for the frame size and custom for the aspect. To create the video, click on the export button. Premiere Pro will start encoding your new video into the location you chose.
Now go to the folder where your video file has been saved. Double click on the video to see your creation. My computer automatically opens Windows Media Player. You can now upload your video to YouTube or Vimeo to share with friends and family. Here's a sample video we created using the GoPro FX Reframe plugin. You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? We hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. There will be more tips and tricks videos in the future. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.